the mountain gorilla too until the first specimens were killed. Who would believe the stories of a saber-toothed killer loose in the Australian bush if we didn't have evidence on film that the ferocious Tasmanian tiger, this is the last one known, was still alive in Hobart Zoo in 1933. Snakes that can swallow a donkey seem like fictional creatures, except eyewitnesses and even photographs exist. This giant anaconda was killed on the Amazon. According to a Rio paper, it was 130 feet long. This one was killed on the banks of the Mogiachu River in the interior of Brazil. When this snake, allegedly 115 feet in length, emerged from the river Oyapop, the militia would call out to machine gun it. But it was in the African Congo that a monstrous specimen appeared to confront this Belgian helicopter pilot, Remy van Leerden as he returned from a mission in 1959. So as we had the camera on board, I decided to make several passes over the hole where the snake was in, in able to let the man take a picture of it. And I made certainly between four and six passes right over the hole where the snake was in. By then I was already flying for 25 years, so I have a very good experience of uh, measuring things. And I would say the snake I saw there was close to 50 foot, close to 50 feet. I don't know you say 50 foot or 50 feet, but very close to certainly. And it was moving inside the hole and looking very dark green, deep green brown, with his belly white. Now when I came down on that snake in his hole, and I would say at about 25, 30 foot up, the snake raised up by about, I would say, 10 foot. And I could very clearly, closely see the head, which was looking, and I could not com make a better comparison as with a very large horse, with big, very, very big jaws, looking triangular. And you're just standing up like that to me, and I, I feel and I'm convinced, if, it, if, it, if I had been in its range, it would have struck at me, it would have been striking me. And yet, I would say it was certainly at least, at least on the valley, two foot wide and three foot long. It could have easily eaten up a man. This is one of those rare cases where we have an expert witness and an excellent photograph. Analysis of the grand features suggests that this animal was indeed at least 40 feet long. So monstrous snakes do exist. On the other hand, there's been a reward out for at least 60 years, initiated by Theodore Roosevelt, now worth $15,000, for any snake over 30 feet long, and no one has yet claimed it. Another controversial...